friends, since we're doing our clothing study, I want to read to you this book called The Button Box, written by Margaret Reed and illustrated by Sarah Chamberlain. My grandma has a very special box. I like to play with what's inside. What do you think is inside of the box? <gasps> what is it? It's buttons. I swirl the buttons round and round, and then I pick the ones I like. Ten have flowers painted on them, just like Grandma's china dishes. I like to sort them first. Next, I look for the sparkly buttons. I pretend they're jewels that once belonged to kings and queens and movie stars. Some buttons are covered with cloth, satin, velvet, or corduroy. They make me think of fancy clothes. There are metal buttons from overalls and jeans, leather ones from cowboy shirts and sweaters. This one looks like one from Grandpa's winter coat. Grandma says these small ones came from shoes worn long ago. Have you ever seen shoes that look like this? Next, I sort the shiny buttons that come from uniforms. I line them up like marchers in a big parade. The one with the eagle, I call Mr. President. I pull out all the pearly ones and make a rainbow pattern. When does little, when does little change to big? I can never tell. Some buttons have four holes, some two. Some don't have any sewing holes. They have shanks instead. These make good eyes on puppets or stuffed animals. This is a shank. And this is the eyes that he made into a puppet. Sometimes when Grandma sorts with me, we play a special game. We stir the buttons, we close our eyes, and then we each take one. Grandma asks, are they alike? Mine is wooden, so hers, so is hers. Both are round and flat, but hers is thick and mine is thin. She puts my button on a string. Whirl it around, she says, the string twists up. I pull the ends. We listen to it hum. Grandma tells me what some buttons used to be. Some were seashells. Some were even sand. Big furnaces heat the sand until it melts. When it cools, it's glass. Wooden buttons come from trees. Deer shed their antlers every winter and grow new ones in the spring. I like the buttons made from their old horns. When it's time to put the buttons back, I pretend I'm very rich, counting all my gold. I like to feel the buttons then, the bumpy and the smooth. I like the way they sound, clickety-clackety, falling through my fingers, one by one, into the box. Then Grandma puts the box away, where it will wait till next time. I wonder who first figured buttons out. Hmm, I wonder. The end. Thanks for watching.